Hello, ladies. I'm coming in hot today. It's Friday. So I feel like I need a mental kick in the butt and I'm going to mentally kick your butt right now too. <laughs> if you are sensitive and emotional and like maybe just need extra cuddles and hugs today, don't watch this live. I'm, and, and I like mean that. I'm not saying like a, like a big B and being like, don't even watch this live then. No, I'm telling you, like seriously, if you feel like you need a little extra love today, this is not a loving live. <laughs> I, of course, I'm going to deliver it with love. I'm not like a total meanie to you guys all the time, but there are some days where I feel like I just need to come in hot and remind you guys. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Can I just say it? Can I be blunt with you? There. I just asked for permission and you all gave me permission. <laughs> I just want to yell at you. And, and those watching don't even deserve, deserve to be yelled at. It's like preaching to the choir. Stop the complaining. Stop the bitching. I don't care if you do it. Pick it up though, right? Stop finding other things and other reasons for why you can't be successful. Because none of that is true. It's all lies. We've talked about this before. I don't have the time. I don't have the gym membership. I don't have the money. I don't have the right help. I don't have the right equipment. Um, I don't have the right spouse. I don't have the children acting the right way right now. Um, I don't have the right job. I don't have the right environment. I don't, it's all lies, okay? It might be true. Some of the things hold us back, right? Bad week, bad situations, all the things. But are those really things to stop you from moving forward in your fitness journey? Some may say, yeah. Yeah, Melissa, if I don't have this, I don't know how I can do that. Mm, mm, I would challenge it. I'd challenge it. And if you feel you have one of those excuses right now of like, I can't do this because of this, Melissa. Tell me, put it in the comments. Let's, let's battle this out. Not battle you and me battle, but let's battle the, the thought, um, the, the feelings. Let's challenge this and see if it's fact. That's what we're here to do. There has, and this, this isn't because you guys are like pissing me off or anything. It's because it's Friday. I'm mad at the universe for all the shit that I've had to deal with. It makes me angry. And I haven't had the best phone calls this week with people. I did not get good candidates um, to have conversations with. Lots of excuses. People saying how um, they're ready. No, I'm, I'm overweight. I'm pushing 200 pounds. I got a couple people that were like, I'm ready. I'm pushing 200 pounds. Um, I can't keep doing this. Like, I'm tired of this. And my joints ache. And my sex life sucks. And... Um, you know, I don't have any energy and I don't feel like it. And then when it comes down to it, these people are like, oh yeah, no, I can't afford that. Okay. Well, let, let's break it up. What if we do less? What if like your first month I give you a discount and we do less, but then you pick it back up because I don't give shit for free, you know, or Hey, just do the challenge. $149. Let's get you your feet wet. Let's, let's get this challenge going and start in February. Do the challenge with us. Oh yeah. You know, I just $149. You can't do it. So it's not that you guys are making me mad and bringing the energy and stuff, but you guys get the passion and fire behind those conversations to help you move forward. So even though you're like, no, I'm kicking butt. I'm doing the thing. I'm still going to speak directly to you guys and firmly with you guys to keep you on your toes, right? Just because you're doing the do and you, you might be hustling or you might be sitting there going, no, Melissa, bring it. I need to hear this. I need someone to talk and real to me right now. Um, <laughs> like whichever way you need it, um, take it however you need it. But remember this too, like, you know, even the people that are pushing and doing the thing, you, you still need the kick in the butt to keep going. Like, I'm going to congratulate you, pat you on the back, like fist bump, be like, yeah, you do the thing. I'm still going to yell at you. I'm still going to be on you. Like, think about boot camp and the C Navy SEALs and like all those people, like, 
the best of the best. They're pushing, they're hustling. We're impressed. They're doing the thing. They still get yelled at. They still get pushed. No one ever stops and is like, oh no, they're really good and they're doing really strong and really hustling. Like, okay, let's go find some lazy people. No. So even the great up here need pushing. And when you're great and you're doing good and you're on the thing, and we have our ups and downs, you still need it. So take what you need from this. Be grateful that you get to experience <laughs> me yelling at you from other people who are giving excuses. My excuses are distractions I'm creating. Huge awareness. We just talked about that last night on the, on the team call, which I, I'm going to post. I put it up on YouTube and like got a link and then I never clicked the, the link into the group. Super good call. Like I love it. And what are you being distracted from? Because you're right. Like, I agree. My excuses, oh my God, I've totally have lived this, Michelle. Like, my excuses, oh, I can't because of this. Like, especially with business stuff or like the house, oh, I can't, you know, because I got to do this and stuff. And it just distracts me from like my ultimate goal and what I need to do and like getting shit done. And when I look at it and I dissect things and I pull it apart, it's not that I can't do it. It's not that I want to do it. And things that I've looked at, like even just this big month, this month has been big for me. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm scared to do it. I, I'm scared to go next level. Here's one for you that I just realized too, uh, like a few days ago. I'm scared to finish unpacking these boxes and really get settled into this home and finish like decorating and like doing stuff because I'm like dealing with that crap has been such a distraction for me lately. You know, like when the kids are gone or it's like quiet time or like just dealing with other stuff, like that's what I go do. Like I go and organize the home or like, okay, I can get through a couple boxes or it gives me something to complain about. If that house is all organized, what the hell am I going to complain about? And if that house is all done and organized, what am I going to do when it's quiet and downtimes? Why don't I want to sit in quiet and downtimes? Oh, you mean because I actually have time to think and process my feelings or deal with my kids not being there? Oh, isn't that interesting, Melissa? So it's not that I don't have time to finish unpack the boxes. It's not that I have, like, all these excuses to do I can do. It. Oh, my God, life is so busy, and I got to do this, and da, da, da. When I sat down and dissected that shit, I was like, oh, if this house is done, then that means this and this and this and this and this, and it's fear. And fear is not a reason to take action, but it stops us, all of us. It's easier to focus on other things than it is to focus on myself, right? Seriously, because I think everyone else is more important. Yep, yep, 100%. I just had a conversation with another mom today who has put things off and she hasn't onboarded yet. I'm trying to think. She hasn't onboarded yet. Hasn't even onboarded yet. It's been a struggle and stuff. And she was like, I just don't think this is working out, blah, 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 you know, and I'm like, I'm going to challenge you right now. I'm going to challenge you. And I went back on Calendly, you know, when you book a call with me and you guys answer those couple questions there on Calendly and I pulled hers up and I'm like, you know what your problem was when what you said, you, you said, I don't have motivation. I feel unmotivated. I have a fear of being overweight. I'm like, what's driving you? Why? I have a fear of becoming overweight or being more overweight, you know? And I refreshed her memory of this. And I'm like, what have you done? What have you done to change yourself from that person who answered those Calendly questions to now? And all of you, think about that. All of you. What have you done? What work have you done from when you joined to now? Now, some of you could answer, raise your hand and be like, oh, I've done a lot. 
I've onboarded twice. I watch my affirmations. I do the work. I come in on the lives. I watch. I'm a part of my small group. Um, I participate in the challenges. I, I, I suck at life sometimes, but I pick myself back up. I've been in this group for two years. I'm still kicking butt. Um, I'm losing weight, not at the fast pace that I want to, or I have more to do, but I'm doing all things. Yes, Melissa, yes. From here to here, I've done work. Okay. Some of you might say, well, you know, I've tried working out and your, your story might be different, right? Like, oh, I've done this and uh, not really. And then I was like, I got discouraged or oh, I couldn't figure out the app. And so I didn't even get the new one. And, you know, I onboarded, but I didn't really onboard. You know, like you don't have that strong of a middle. Okay. And I asked her, what have you done from then to then? And I invite all of you to answer that and put it in the comments. And she's like, well, n- nothing like. I'm, my main focus is my family right now. I didn't predict us all getting COVID. We've all been really sick and I'm just trying to make ends meet. And, you know, I just, I got to take care of my family and, and that's my main priority. Okay. Okay. How long has it been like this for? How long have you been a mom putting your family as a priority and taking care of them and doing that? Well, forever, like since I became up, uh-huh. How's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? And she's like, well, it's, it's not. <laughs> uh-huh. I bet your family's awesome, right? I mean, you have kids. I bet they're thriving. Like, you love them. They're, you know, you're doing the best you can. Like, mm, this bump. Like, m- mad props to you, right? Uh-huh. How's that working out for you? Just use the time frame from when you got a hold of me to right now to where you're trying to back out. How's that working for you? She's like, it's not. I'm miserable. But I got to keep going for my family. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And are they getting best mommy? Or are they getting just getting by mommy and just making it mommy? And she's like, don't ask me that. I'm like, I'm going to. I'm going to ask you twice. And then I said, I'm going to ask you again, what work have you done from here to here? When you started, contacted me, found me, saw me, whatever, to now. And she's like, I haven't. I haven't done any work. And I said, then why are you surprised that the old you or, or the current you, the only person you know and the only person your brain knows, why are you expecting her to be acting and responding different right now? I don't know why I'm holding my hand like this. <laughs> Why are you expecting all this time up, down? Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay, I'm not. Uh, 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 now here we are. And I'm like, I don't think I can do this anymore. Why do you think that somewhere in there magic happened and that you're like, no, you know what? Life is hard. I'm trying to take care of my family, but I'm going to do this. Let's go. <laughs> Why do you think that's just going to happen? Of course, you're going to tell me that you're going to quit. Of course you're going to tell me that you don't think you can do this and you want to back out. Duh. No, duh. You haven't changed. And you haven't done any work to change. Girl, I got you. Don't beat yourself up. Don't self-sabotage. Don't have shame and guilt. Duh. Don't blame your... Don't even blame yourself. Because look at... You, you've gone through a mess a lot and you haven't done any work on you to change and get a different result. I am not shocked that the old you right here is still driving the bus and is like, yeah, this isn't working out. Come on, we're just, we're going to stay on the path of quitting and, and, you know, just getting by and doing what we can do. Right? Right? And she's like, oh my God, you're right. Fuck yeah, I'm right. And I only know this not because I'm amazing. I only know this because I've lived it and I am living it. And every day we have to work and and choose what's going to happen in this journey. And all these women, all these women from all over, they, they think for some reason, and maybe many of you in this group, they think that like, One day they're just going to wake up and be motivated and inspired and and they're going to be like, oh, I figured out what's wrong with me. Oh, I figured it out. Okay, well, yeah, 
yeah, well shit, now I can lose a ton of weight and I can keep moving. Sometimes something just clicks, but you still have to like fail and go through really crappy stuff for that flip to switch and then be like, ah, and usually it's rock bottom. We call that rock bottom when you hit rock bottom and then it clicks and you're like, ah, from that moment on, I changed. This is why being in a group like this, hearing lives like this, being a part of small groups, daily messages, daily lives, daily reminders, daily failures, daily wins, daily seeing and, and other people succeed and seeing other people fail and how you can bring them up and how you can learn from them and that's winning. That is why this group is the way it is and why it helps and why it works and why it's going to teach and train you to keep going and being amazing. If it was just you and I, I can't give you all that. That's why we work together as a group. That's why I train like this. Your environment and your community is huge. And when we have women that aren't contributing to that or being a part of that, they miss all of this. They miss it. And I have an answer. I'm like, have you been watching the lives? Have you connected? What about the group Fit for Life? That's a free group. We post and share in there. Have you been connecting? No, I've just been too busy. I just can't do it. There's a little piece right here. And that's connection and communication. She hasn't even been doing that. And that, that's okay. But be aware of where you're at and how zero work has taken place here and how you're expecting someone magical to be here in this driver's seat. <laughs> Going, all right, today I got energy and motivation. I'm gonna kick butt in my onboarding and I'm gonna post and I'm gonna go kill my workout. No, no magical unicorn is just going to pop out of your butt shooting sparkles and rainbows and glitter. <laughs> I have this unicorn, you know, vision of M Melissa in the bus now. Uh-uh, I ain't even close to that. And me, personally, I have done so much work. So many tears, so much growth in here. And I am still fighting little Melissa, other demons and, and, and whatever, because they don't go away. They're always there. What happens is that you become more aware of them. You learn how to fight them and they don't hold you back. The old you stops holding you back. More and more and more. And you just grow and get better at that. Again and again and again and again. The battle, the struggle, all of that, it's not going anywhere, ladies. I mean, even like David Goggins, still. And he just comes to mind because he's amazing. He has learned to, to take just major control of his mental ability and mindset and power and everything. So he's my example. He even says, I still struggle. There's days that I don't want to do it. There's days where he's like, I don't want to run. I love this one interview. He was at a hotel and there was like that one machine. It's not an elliptical, but it's like this running weird robot machine. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. And he was like, got on it. And he's like, oh, I don't like this thing at all. I do not want to do that. I do not want to do this. Guess what he needed to do? And guess what he made himself do it? For like two hours. That machine. All because he was aware of, I don't want to do this. This is not what I want to do. He was aware of it and was like, that means that's, that's what I need to do. Our hit workout, our Tabata workout that's in our app right now. I did it the other day. I did not want to do it. I wanted to pretend that it was not there. Like, no, oh my God, I missed that day, Melissa. I didn't even see it on there. I did. I, I don't want to do this. Uh-uh. And I was like, I am aware of what I don't want to do. I am aware of what I want to do, what I don't want to do, and what I need to do, and I'm going to do it right now. Cleared the space, made my space, and freaking did that workout. 
and I wanted to die because I pushed myself through it. I pushed myself through the rests, through every, every rep. So my point is, is that like the demons and everything, they don't go away. It's a battle. But the more you do from here, when you started to rear it right now, filling that in. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's worth it, ladies. It's worth it. 120% worth it. So take all of this in. The conversations that I have with women are hard. They're hard on me. They're hard to listen to. But I love that they give me lives like this to be able to be like, shut down your excuses. Take control of your life. How many more times are you going to let something else, someone else, some other situation control you? It, it's time that we're just like, <laughs> no more. No more. And being aware of what's truly stopping you, holding you back, not letting you do that little extra is step one. Because once you're aware, okay, it's here. Now I have a choice. I can either ignore it and go or I can pay attention to it and make change. Sometimes, many times, here comes a fire truck. Just being aware, it's enough for now. Then maybe next week, that next month, we pick A or B and we pick a different path. I want to know, and I'm very proud of Michelle for commenting on this. Very bravo, Michelle. Good for you. I want you to comment. I want you to tell me what you're thinking and feeling as I'm speaking this. Go back, read your onboarding workbook, see what you wrote in that freaking thing. What was your de declaration to yourself? How close are you to that? How close are you not to that? Think about these things. I told you I was coming in hot today. And I'm hot. I feel like I'll, I'll flush right now. I think it's this um, low open tank top that makes me feel like a little thuggish and gangster. <laughs> and then it gets in me. So think about these things, you guys. Tag people in this that you think you might know it. Tell people in your groups like, hey, watch Melissa's live today. The more you guys comment on this and like the video and do all the things, the more it populates it on our page and the more people can see. All right. I love you all. I can't wait to keep reading what you post in here. And I want you to take control of your weekend. Next week, who knows? Let, let whatever just be whatever next week. But for the next three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all right, two and a half, you take control. Do not make any excuses. We'll reevaluate. We'll see how that goes. Okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later.